Hey guys, this is Jennifer with The Family Fudge, and on this channel, we like to share lots and lots of fun lunch ideas. But on today's video, we're gonna focus on just nut-free lunches, and I'm gonna share some of our favorite. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. Now let's get to those lunches. Good morning, friends. Now we are running super late today, so I'm gonna try to get through this quickly. Today I'm packing a little deconstructed sandwich. We have a lot of Hawaiian rolls left over from a birthday party. So I went ahead and just cut them in half like this. And then I'm sending the meat and the cheese separate so the kids can actually build them um, when they're ready to eat them. Now over here I'm sending one little apple cinnamon fig bar. I'm also sending a big thing of blueberries, some peaches and cream yogurt from Trader Joe's. This is super good. And of course we have our juice today. This is a nut-free day, but I am including some Halloween pretzels. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop all of my lids on, get my ice pack in there, and then we'll be headed out the door. Oh yes, the kids also will be taking their water bottles today. Okay guys, so we're back home now, and right now I actually have all the kids with me. Say hi. Hi. So let's see what they ate today. First I have Mackenzie's. How did it go, Mackenzie? It was good. It was good? You ate all of your sandwich, very nice, and your fig bar and all of your blueberries are gone. You ate everything, even the pretzels? Yep. Good job. And now for Jackson's, how did yours go today, Jack? Good, I ate all the blueberries. You ate all of your food. Oh, you just have some pretzels left. <laughs> but you ate all of your blueberries? Awesome, okay, now it's time for Lily's. How'd you do, Lily? Good. Did you eat your sandwich? You ate your sandwich, but you just have a little bit of a fig bar left. Do you want to eat it right now? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. And you have some pretzels left yeah. and your blueberries. What was wrong with your blueberries? They were a little sour. They were sour? You got, oh. you got all the sour ones for me. All the sour ones are for you? Does anybody else want to eat these? No. You'll eat those? Okay, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. So the theme of today's lunches is use what you've got. I did not make it to the store over the weekend, so I'm kind of running low on fresh things. But I do have a lot of things in the house that I'm trying to use up, so that's what we're going with today. And I am packing some snacks um, for the kids as well, so I think I'll start there. Now in these cute little goldfish containers, you would think that I have goldfish, but I actually don't. I just have a few of these little cheddar crackers because this box has been open for a couple of days now and I'm trying to use it up. But I only sent them with a couple. Um, I definitely don't fill the whole thing with crackers because I would prefer for the kids to eat this for their snack. But to tell you the truth, the kids aren't super crazy about these because these ones have the hidden veggies and my kids can tell the difference. But I have three of these left and I would really like to use them up. So I'm gonna send this and hope for the best. Moving on to the lunch. Now, like normal, they're pretty much the same, just Lily has a little bit different. So I'll go ahead and start with Mackenzie's. Now today, I'm actually packing leftovers. I have some, I can't remember if it's mandarin chicken or orange chicken, but it's the kind that you get at Trader Joe's. It's fully cooked and you just heat it up. It's actually really good, but I had a lot of leftovers from uh, last night's dinner. So I just reheated it till it was really hot and then stuck it in here. And then to go along with that, I was out of a lot of fresh fruit, so Today, it's all about the pineapple. My kids love pineapple. And to go along with that, I have the last few cucumbers from the big Costco bag. Instead of cutting them in rounds today, I cut them in sticks. So maybe the kids will think it's something fun and new and they'll decide to eat it. I'm not quite sure, but that's my strategy. So to go along with that, I did pack a little teeny thing of ranch, just like that. And then for some calcium and dairy, I'm sending a little yogurt tube. Now I would have liked to have uh, frozen these. I like to freeze them, but I forgot. So maybe I'll just, I'll just stick a cool pack in there as well. And I thought it'd be really fun to go ahead since they're doing um, Mandarin chicken to include the kids' little training chopsticks. They're just like this, isn't that cute? They have like a little finger thing there. I found these at Daiso, which is like the Japanese uh, dollar store. So I'll go ahead and put those in, but just in case, I did, I did pack their regular fork 
as well. Okay guys, so it is now about 4.30 on Monday, and I'm finally getting around to checking the lunches. Kenzie, what was the best part of lunch today? The orange chicken. The orange chicken, yeah? Was it still hot? Yeah. Yeah? That's good. I heard Lily say that she liked the pineapple the best. So, it looks like you guys did really good, but I'm gonna go ahead and take a peek here. Yep, you ate all of your chicken. Let's see, you ate all of your pineapple and your cucumber. I think it totally worked to cut the cucumbers lengthwise this time because Lily thought that they were celery. So she's like, Mom, I ate all my celery. So I totally tricked her. Did you use your chopsticks? Yeah. Yeah, did it work out really good? Yeah, can I can do them. Oh, yeah, you can do it now. Awesome. Okay, moving on to Jackson's. He ate all of his orange chicken, so that's really good. He likes orange chicken too. Yeah. Got it. Got the chopsticks, the spoon. He ate everything. It's all gone. Let's see. All the crackers are gone. You guys must have been hungry today, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's check Lily's. I can't believe Lily's is gone. She never finishes her food. That's amazing. Okay, and everything else is gone. There you go. So today was a total success. I will totally be serving orange chicken again. That was that was a win in my book. Okay, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Now the lunches seem pretty full today and I also have snacks. And that's because we're gonna be gone for most of the day into the evening. So I'll go ahead and show you what I packed. Starting with Mackenzie's, I have something a little bit different today and that is egg salad on a mini croissant. Now my kids haven't had egg salad in a while so I'm not quite sure how that's gonna go but I think they'll like it. And I like putting it on the croissant. It doesn't get as soggy as white bread does. And I'm keeping the sandwich together with this cute little pick so it's not gonna flop open and spill out everywhere, hopefully. Now I'm also packing some celery sticks with some hummus instead of ranch to dip them in this time. And I'm also packing some kiwis. Now I'm also packing some fruit punch today. And for the snacks, I'm also packing this go-go squeeze and this is the apple strawberry flavor. And then in here I have some pop chips. But these pop chips are actually Star Wars shape. Now unfortunately it seems most of these are actually broken so you can't really tell what the shape is but I think the kids will still like them. And just like normal, Jackson's lunch and Lily's lunch are pretty much the same, just the quantities might be a little bit different. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop all of my lids on, put my ice pack in there and then we'll be out the door. Okay guys, so we're back home now and it is about 4.35. I've got Mackenzie here helping me. Hi. So let's see what they ate today, starting with your lunch, starting with Mackenzie's. Ooh, looks like you ate everything. So what did you think about the hummus today? The hummus was very good. Was it good? Yeah. This was a garlic roasted hummus actually. So mm. do you like ranch or hummus or do you like both? Both. Both? Okay, good. Good job. Now let's see how Jackson did. Maybe Jackson. Okay, let's see. Oh, Jackson didn't eat all of his pop chips. You don't, I was full. You don't like pop chips? No, Jackson I was just full because I ate some lots of that egg salad. Oh, you ate all oh, you ate all of your egg salad? That's great. So he ate everything. I would say the egg salad was a win. I would definitely make that again, or maybe chicken salad. Okay, now we're on to Lily's. So Lily. You didn't eat all your pop chips. Was your tummy full? Yeah. Or you just wanted to play? I just wanted to play. Okay, let's see. Okay, so Lily ate most of her hummus. There's just a little bit left. The egg salad got a little bit messy in your box, but that's okay. She ate most of her sandwich, just a little bit left. I got all of my picks back. Did you like your kiwi? Yeah. And you just have a little bit of celery left. So, very good job today, guys, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. So here's what I'm packing today. And just like normal, these are pretty much all the same. So I'll go ahead and show you Mackenzie's. In the thermos today, I packed about four meatballs in some marinara sauce. I just heated it up as hot as I could get it and stuck it in the thermos. Now in this little container, I have some grapes, some Havarti cheese, a little Hawaiian roll which I've cut in half in case they wanted to make a little meatball sandwich that would be really fun and tasty. And then I have something new that the kids have never had before. It's these little edamame pods. They've never had them before. I think they'll be okay, but we'll see. 
I just get I just got these ones from Trader Joe's. They're like a they're already salted, already cooked, you just have to defrost them. I'm also sending some juice today and a special treat in their lunch. These are little mini Dutch Stroop waffles, which are these guys. These are so good. These come from the Netherlands, and it's basically like a crunchy waffle outside with some yummy caramel inside. But you just get one little teeny one in here, so it's a fun little treat for the kids. And then for snack today, I have two different things. First, I have an unsweetened applesauce, and then I'm also sending these mini crunchy cookies. Now these are basically a honey graham cracker, but just in a circle shape. So little graham cracker cookies. So I'm gonna go ahead and send them with their water bottles, and then when we get back, I will show you what they ate. Okay guys, we're back home now, and excuse my yawning, I definitely could use a nap right now, but that's not gonna happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with McKenzie's. Now I'm not gonna recap what I put in here because I know I just told you guys what I put in here. But here's Mackenzie's, and let's check the thermos. Mackenzie's right here. Say hi. Hi. Let's see. Oh no, you left two meatballs? I know, I was full. You were full? Well, I only gave you four, so next time should I give you two? Yeah. Okay, well, but these are still good. You can eat these later. Okay. Okay, and this one is empty. Good job. All right, let's move on to Jackson's. If I can find his zipper here. Okay, so let's check his thermos. Oh, oh no, he just has a little bit of sauce. He ate all of his meatballs. And I have a kind of a mess in here. Let's see, uh-oh. He did not do very well at all. He did not eat his cheese. It doesn't look like he ate any. Uh, maybe he ate one pod of edamame. He never um, tried those before, so I think he didn't want to try them. And, oh, I found a missing meatball. It's in there. But you know what? This, it's not too late. He could probably still eat this. I don't I'm think this is bad yet. I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna eat this. Yeah, this is still good. I think you can still, he can still eat that. And so that's not too, not too bad. Not the best. I'm not sure if he liked the edamame. Let's see. For Lily, she still has her cookies left. Let's check her thermos. Oh, she has three meatballs left. She only ate one meatball. That's not very good. And in here, she ate everything except for some bread and a little bit of cheese. So maybe I packed too much today. So tomorrow, oh, and she did eat her edamame. She told me that she really liked it, which I was surprised, really surprised about. So, but maybe less food tomorrow. Hi guys, now today I'm packing my kids favorite. We have hot dogs, but I have a trick to packing hot dogs in lunches. Here's how I do it. First, I take my thermoses and I like to fill them halfway with some boiling hot water. And then I put the lids on to keep all of that heat inside. Then I just add my hot dogs to some water and wait for it to boil. When the water is boiling, the hot dogs are ready to pack. But here's a tip, you guys. Now normally I would dump out the hot water that I added to my thermoses and then add my food, but I'm not doing that today. I'm keeping the hot water in the thermos and then I'm adding my hot dogs to that hot water. And that hot water is gonna help keep the hot dogs nice and warm. Just like my hot dogs, I am gonna cut my hot dog buns in half. They just fit much better that way. And I like to put them in this sandwich container. I find these at Target in the dollar spot all the time. And of course, I'm packing some condiments. I have these little containers from the Dollar Tree. They are leak proof and BPA free. So I'm just gonna add a little squirt of ketchup to each of them. And then for my daughter, Lily, I'm gonna add some mustard because she's the only one who likes mustard. Now I definitely wanna remember to pack our spoon, knife, fork combo today because the kids definitely need it. They're gonna use the fork end to get the hot dog out of the thermos and onto the bun. And then they're gonna use the knife end, which is really dull, not sharp at all, to go ahead and spread their condiments all over the bun. Now to go along with our hot dog, I did put a little teeny box of raisins in there. It just fits perfectly, it's so tiny. And I also am sending some juice. This is the Berry Berry Good Lemonade. And in this corner, I have some applesauce. But this is actually um, applesauce with apricot in there, so it's a little bit different. I hope the kids enjoy it. And for the snack today, I am sending these little, they say that they're breakfast biscuits, but they're basically like an oatmeal cookie that's really crisp. 
And I know the kids are gonna like these because they're blueberry and most importantly because they have PJ Mask on them and my kids love that show. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack this up and then when we get back home, of course, I'll show you what they ate. Okay guys, we're back home now and usually the kids like to help me during this point but as you can probably hear, they are playing outside. I think they're playing Simon Says. So I'll go ahead and show you what they ate and then I will clean it all up. First up I have Mackenzie's. Now I did ask the kids to dump their water out when they were done with their hot dogs and so Mackenzie did, she ate all of her hot dogs and whoa, everything else is totally gone. So she did a really good job today. We just have a tiny bit of ketchup left and that is it. And let's see, Jackson, he ate all of his hot dogs and dumped out his water and he ate everything in here too. Just a little bit of ketchup left. So next time, less ketchup. And then Lily, she dumped out her water, but I know she didn't eat all of her food. She left, let's see, she left one half of her bread, so she did eat the hot dog, but she didn't eat the bread. And then in this little nub here, we have a tiny bit of hot dog left. Oh, and it looks like she only ate one out of the three biscuits, because each of these come with uh, three, so she only ate two of those. So overall, not too bad. They definitely enjoyed the hot dogs. Okay friends, I hope you enjoyed these nut-free lunches. If you did, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one.